On March 11, 2011, at 2.46 p.m., a 9.0, 9.1 magnitude earthquake struck Japan. The earthquake caused a tsunami, which destroyed the backup generators in the Fukushima Daiichi power plant to fail. As a result, a nuclear power plant meltdown occurred, releasing radioactive material into the environment. Evacuation orders were given. To this day, there are still areas where people are unable to return to, called no-go zones, in the Fukushima prefecture. Since then, the people of Fukushima have not only dealt with the recovery efforts such as rebuilding and decontamination, but also the effects of discrimination. In addition, we visited Futaba Future High School in Hirono, Fukushima. We interviewed a variety of students and were given the opportunity to learn about their personal experiences and feelings while living in the Fukushima prefecture. We were also given a chance to speak with fishermen at a local fish market regarding their business and how far it has come since the disaster. The people of Fukushima are some of the friendliest people I have ever met. Their kind and resilient attitude create a very warm and welcoming atmosphere to visit. Visiting Fukushima has given me a new perspective to take into account into my life that includes learning to be more optimistic even in the hardest of times. Despite these obstacles, the people have proven to be kind and resilient. These are their stories. I I want to um, I want to become the Kyosei Shokin. A gentle, kind person. The person who can take care of everybody else. Mm -hmm. Gentle, something like it. I want to be cooperate with anybody else, like happily, peacefully. And because I like English, and I, this school is English learn more. And and yes. Fukushima <laughs> is um, very, very friendly. Fukushima is many festival. Um, it it is very famous. Um, so I like Fukushima's festival, and I often go there. Um, Fukushima have uh, uh, kindness people, so many people is kind of very kind of people. Eh, what is your favorite thing? Nature, nature. She said nature. People are kind. The most, uh, the people is really kind. Fukushima, in Fukushima. I love everything. <laughs> I love everything of Fukushima. Oh, Fukushima yeah. I think food is really delicious and the mm. people is really kind and gentle. Mm. I love Tomioka, of course. I love the sake, uh, chili, chili blossom. Mm. Yeah. Tomioka. I, I'd like to guys to come up to Tomioka during the chili blossom season in April. Uh, you will see why I love Tomioka. If you come up to the Tomioka at the moment. I like nature. I like sea, obviously. I, I really love sea, actually. But since it's contaminated, I have a really mix, mixed feeling. I like, I love sea. I, I'm, I love hanging out on the beach. Well, since the disaster had happened, I lived I lived outside of Hamadori, uh, coastal region, so I didn't have a time to face to face to the reality of my uh, reality of my hometown. And I decided to move here and try to face to the reality as much as possible. Now I'm in the process. Now I, you know, like past was just sad, full of anger, hateness. But now I'm trying to get over from this position, I think. It's turning into the po positive thinking. It gives me more power, actually, to meet you guys. It makes me more connect to you guys. And I feel I have a friends 
who went through those kind of life situation. So I can be stronger with them. I can fight with this situation. To sum up our experience, we learned a very important word in Japanese, Saskine. Would it be okay to teach you to say one word, one word in Fukushima dialect? It, it means I'm fine, I'm okay. Sasuke ne. Sasuke We are so happy to have had the opportunity to meet all these amazing people in Fukushima.